Maine really is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I spent every single summer of my life in my grandparents' cottage on the beach in southern Maine. Now I have my own cottage, and I know my daughter, Una, is going to carry on this Maine tradition. When Maura and I started working together, we realized that our grandparents' cottages were built the same year. I was raised in Portland, Maine, spending summers in South Freeport. My Grammy Fran had a big colonial house, and my Nana Didi had a cottage on Harris Secret Harbor. I spent most of my youth running between these two grandmothers' houses. I grew up in the only landlocked New England state, so in order to see the ocean, my parents took my brothers and sisters and I to Maine. One of my sisters moved to the Midcoast almost 25 years ago. And though I was working in Manhattan, I would drive the eight hours to see her almost every summer weekend. It didn't take me long to figure out a life that would allow my husband, Stephen, and our two boys to spend summers in this magical place. I felt uh, this sort of sense of urgency. I needed to record my Maine in order to preserve it. I've been traveling up and down the coast of Maine my entire life. I felt that I could connect us to houses that were worth photographing. When Maura called, it just seemed like the perfect project. And of course, we bonded over the gravitational pull of Maine. I thought about the power in numbers. The three of us, Maura, Basha, and I, we each bring a unique talent to the project, and so the sum is greater than the parts. It's about homes, but it's really about humanity. I love writing about people. We poked around inside barns, behind boat sheds, under 100-year-old eaves. We had a blast. It's mythic, all shingles and clapboard. The interior is as honest as it gets. We found people building houses that are sympathetic to the land and its surroundings. And that's so encouraging to see that new houses can be built with sensitivity to the environment and bring as much, if not more, pleasure to an owner. These are forever houses, just like their forebears. Our hope is that when you flip through the pages of this book, your pulse will slow, your jaw will soften, and you'll be hooked, like anyone who's ever visited Maine.